Okay, going to be working section 11, section, I mean, sorry, chapter 11, section 1, the rectangular coordinate system. So the beginning here uh, gives us a table, and what we have here is a list of, of years, and on the side is the number of housing permits that are issued in thousands. So you can see, like in 2003, there were 6,000 housing permits issued. Uh, 2007, there were 7.5 thousand, so that's 7,500 uh, pe uh, permits issued. So one of the things we can do when we have um, something like this is we can plot this data. So we usually draw like what this is called a scatter plot, but what you have is along the bottom is a list of the years, and then uh, uh, along the side here you have the number of house uh, permits in thousands. So like in 2003. We said that there were 6,000. So at 2003 here, if you go up and look, 6,000 corresponds to this number. And then in 2004, there was 5.8 thousand. So in 2004, you go up, and that's about 5.8 thousand right there. And each of these points corresponds to something on this chart. So let me go to like um, 2009. So in 2009, we should have had 8,000 permits. So this right here, this point on our graph, we actually call this an ordered pair. And in this case, it's a pair of numbers that we put in parentheses with a comma between them. Um, the first part of the ordered pair is the year, 2009. And the second part of the ordered pair is the um, number of permits in thousands, so eight. And each of these points can be represented as an ordered pair. So this would be 2008, and what was it here? 7.5, so 7.5. So each of these points represents an ordered pair in this chart. Now, let's answer some questions first before we move on and get into ordered pairs a little bit more. Um, let's answer some of these questions. For which year was the number of permits the greatest? So what we're looking for is the highest point on this chart. Let me get rid of all my stuff here. It's just distracting. Okay, the highest number on this chart happened in the year 2009. So we'd say 2009. How many permits did the, oops, that should say county, issue in 2003? So in 2003, Come up, how many did they issue? 6,000, so six, sorry. We, could put, we need to put 6,000. Remember, it's measured in thousands. Between which years did the number of permits decrease? It looks like between 2007, let me see. Well, I don't think we have ever decreased, did we? Oh yeah, in the very beginning, 6,000 and then 5.8 thousand. So between the years, 2003 and 2004 it had a slight decrease there. So 2003 to 2004. Between which uh, two years did the number of permits remain the same? And you can see between 2007 and 2008, it remained the same. Um, for, which year cor uh, for which year corresponds, uh, some spelling problems here, to 7,000 permits issued? So we want to look where do we have, what year do we have 7,000? If we go over and go down, we can see that it would have been 2006. So 2006. And how many more permits were issued from 2008 to 2009? So from 2008, we had 7.5 thousand, so that's 7,500. In 2009, we had 8.0, which is 8,000. So that's the difference of 500 permits. Okay, so back to ordered pairs, plotting ordered pairs. When ordered pairs are of the form, and I told you it's a set of parentheses with a comma, and we usually put an X here for the first number and Y here for the second number. The X value is called the X coordinate, and the Y value is called the Y coordinate. And the order matters here. Your X is always first, your, your Y is always second. So when we plot ordered pairs, we plot them on what's called the Cartesian or rectangular coordinate plane. So um, this is uh, just a flat sheet of paper that's broken up into four sections. 
So basically, we just took a flat sheet of paper, drew, drew a line, to, uh, drew a horizontal and vertical line, and then what we break that up into is what are called four quadrants. So it goes counterclockwise. You start with the top right, and then that's quadrant one, that's quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. So we're going around counterclockwise when we're counting these. And notice that if you have any point sitting in the first quadrant, that looks like the point three is my x and three is my y. And notice that any point that I put in the first quadrant, both of the coordinates, x and y, are both positive numbers. But if you're in the second quadrant, let's say here, so let's say that's like negative six, and that's four, that would be negative six, four. Any point in the second quadrant will have a negative uh, first coordinate and a positive second coordinate. And then if I pick any point, let's say down here, in the third quadrant, that would be like negative five, negative three, that both the X and Y coordinates are negative. And then if I were to pick a point, let's say over here, that would be the point five, negative four. Any point that I pick over here in the fourth quadrant, you would have, come on, you would have a positive X coordinate and a negative Y coordinate. So, those are those kind of some properties of this coordinate system. Um, and then also we have a very special point right here in the middle. We call this the origin, and that's the point zero, zero. So you just don't go anywhere, you just stay there. So the x-axis is the horizontal axis. Y-axis is the vertical. And the location where they hit each other is called the origin. Now let's practice plotting some points. So let's plot the point A, which is going to be the point 5, 4. So 5 is the X, 4 is the Y. So we go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then from there we go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we draw a point there and we label it A. Okay, let's go for this one, negative 7, negative 3. So we go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, then we go down, one, two, three, and we draw a point here, and that's our B. Okay, two, negative six, so to the right, two, and then down, one, two, three, four, five, six, plot, call that C. D is negative seven halves, now that's actually negative 3.5 on a calculator, and then zero. So negative 3.5, so negative 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to go halfway, and then I'm not going to move anywhere on the Y. I'm just going to stay here. That's D. And then this one, 0, 8. 0 first means don't move left or right, and then just go up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Draw a dot. That'll be my point E. Okay, hope that makes sense. I'm going to let you do this group work on your own to see if you can plot these. And then this last part of the group work is to just to try and identify these points. So what is the point 1625 on this chart? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, identify which quadrant, sorry. So both of these are positive. That means I go to the right and up. All right, so here's my, I'm just thinking about this. I would go to the right 16 and up 25. So I would be in quadrant one. On the second one, I would go negative and then I'd go up, so I'd be in quadrant two. And this third one, I would go right three down six, so I should be in quadrant three. Or sorry, quadrant four. Okay, uh, next one, zero five. So I don't go anywhere left and right, I just go straight up. So. I would actually be not be in a quadrant. I would actually be on the y-axis. And then this last one, we would go to the left, negative down. So we would be somewhere over here. We'd be in quadrant three. Okay, here here they're giving you some points, and you're asked to estimate what the what the actual order pairs are. So I'm just going to pick maybe a few of these. 
So it says estimate. So let's try this I right here. So that I it looks like to get there, I had to go one, two, three, maybe three and a half. And then go up to this looks like, looks like that's one, two. So I would say that I is uh, 3.5 and then two. Let's do another one. How about D? So to get to D, I'd have to go to the left, three, and then down to negative four. So I would say left three, down four. There we go. Okay, I think that you could probably do the rest. That's it for this session. Pretty sh short and sweet. And we'll move on.